I used to work at the Gringo Hotel, and, and my love for food really started there. Welcome to Back of House Banter. So today we have a really special guest, a very good friend of mine, Daniel from Mully & Co. Daniel's been GM at Mully & Co for seven years and seven months, according to LinkedIn. Um, and we've known each other all that time, right? Because I've been a guest review for seven years. So um, back in 2022, they won the gold award for the spa. And then they also won silver for small hotel of the year in the Cornwall Tourism Awards. So Daniel really knows what he's talking about. So hi, Daniel. Hello. Yeah, we also recently uh, picked up gold uh, for the best spa in Cornwall, uh, and also at the Safe West Tourism Awards, Silver. So the second best spa all the way from Gloucester all the way down to the to Lizard Point. So yeah, it's a it's a great achievement for the team down there. That's absolutely fantastic. I didn't know about the gold. See, I should have done my research, right? <laughs> <laughs> so, um, you know, anybody that looks at your LinkedIn profile would assume that you have always wanted to be in hospitality. But come on, you've got to tell us, what did you want to be when you were growing up? Oh, when, I, when I was at school, I wanted to be a marine biologist. Um, but growing, growing up in, in, in the West Midlands, in the, in the middle of England, where, where the closest sea is probably 200 miles away, my teacher said, well, perhaps you should pick, uh, pick, pick something a bit closer to, uh, to home. And that was kind of, uh, that, that was the end of that dream, really, of swimming with sharks and octopuses in the, you know, in, in the South African Cape. But uh, yeah, so I, I then kind of fell into to cooking. I, I enjoyed the, um, we had to do, I don't know what it's like, you know where, where, where you are at school but we had to do um i think it's called design home, home economics home, home economics that was the one and, <laughs> and, and i just i just always loved cooking when i was when i was 14 was it 14 13 i uh, I, I lied to the local greengrocers because i'm quite a big chap anyway i lied to him and told him i was 15 and at, at, back then you know no one checked dates of births no one checked you know ids and and, and i used to work the greengrocers and, and my love for food really started there you know and the fresh food coming out and i'd an hour before i'd go an hour before school lay all the stall out go to school get on the bus get dropped off right outside the greengrocers and, and help him put it all the way so always into food always into cooking and then did home economics at, at, at gcsc and i think it was the only subject I got an, an, an A, an a story, I, think. <laughs> I blew up the kettle making minestrone soup in home economics and the guy standing next to me was screaming I burnt all my hands and he got covered in lime scale <laughs> my father always tells a story my yeah uh, I used to be I used to go to the, the scouts quite a lot when we were younger and um my dad always tells this story of the I'd put some toast under the gas grill in the in, in the tent and then got way got way laid, and next thing you know, half the tents on fire. And yeah, that was a, that was a yeah, that was, that was a quite a. Um, We've all got those. But yeah, that was good. that was good fun. <laughs> uh, and then after that, I just it went into. Um, I finished school and I went to college and I did food, you know, food. I did hotel management, and business studies, and along the side, I did an MVQ in food preparation and cooking and. Started working in pubs. Started well. It's a burger van for quite a long time at the weekends. And then when you when you're 15, 16, I was being, back then. I was being paid forty pounds a day. And if you need bank money, holidays, right? I know. Well, at 15, 16, when you've got bags, you know, pockets full of money, and you know, do two days. If you did the bank holiday Monday as well, you'd get a bonus. I guess, you know, at that age, having quite a bit of money was quite 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 nice. Uh, and, and then when I was at college, worked in, in pubs. Uh, that, that was quite. And then again, my my, my buzz just, just didn't really didn't really stop. And that was a bit um, Hal's own college up in the Midlands. And I always just thought that that'd be it. I'd go and do a bit of chef in, and I'd, I'd be a chef, and, I'd, and 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 that was it. That was that was the dream. I'm going to be a chef. And I did better in my A levels than I thought I was going to going to. And then all my friends I played rugby with were going to university, and I thought, you know what, I'll I'll I'll, I'll give that a go. Um, and then went to uni and did business studies, hotel management, and all that time um, I did lots of temp chefing. So trying to pay my way through through uni rather than having, having stacks of, of tuition bills. So that kind of cooking has always followed me. Uh, yeah. with whatever, whatever I've been doing. So even you know, up until last week, helping cook breakfast in the hotel because that's what you do in a small business when the you know, when your back's against the wall or you have staffing issues, you just go get on with it. 
Yeah, absolutely. And it's amazing how like sometimes the path that we initially think we're going to end up on takes us so much higher. So, you know, being in a burger van or, you know, in a pub and starting cooking there and now being DM to an amazing property, uh, you know, is, is such an achievement.